Please welcome Dick Capri, ladies and gentlemen. So this priest wants to go hunting. He's never been hunting before. He borrows a rifle, goes in the woods looking for bear. He sees the biggest bear he's ever seen. He picks up the gun, takes a shot, and misses the bear completely. And the bear sees the priest, starts right after the priest. The priest drops the gun. The bear's breathing down his neck. The priest looks up. The sky's Lord. He's pleased to make this bear a Christian. And the bear stops at his tracks, gets on his knees, puts his paws together, looks up at the sky's Lord. He says, thank you for the food that I'm about to receive. <laughs> My name is uh, Dick Capri. That's an Italian name, by the way. I always mention that. Thank now... I don't do Italian jokes. Because when I was a kid, I didn't even know I was Italian. I thought everybody had purple furniture. <laughs> My mother once sent me out for olive oil. I went out looking for Popeye's girlfriend. I didn't know. <laughs> and I come from humble beginnings. You know, poor family. Well, they didn't take me to places, you know, where people take their kids. With Disneyland, Disney World. To the closest I ever got to Disneyland when I was a kid at my birthday, my father would catch a mouse and write Mickey on it. <laughs> and my mother always said to me, say that your mother said to you, always wear clean underwear in case you get into an accident. Now, I could never understand that point of view. I think if I ever go to an accident, a truck ever hits me, my underwear is not going to be in good order anyway. <laughs> Any trauma happens to my body, my underwear is the first to go. And I hate relatives to give you underwear for a gift. I like to buy my own jockey shorts. Somebody once gave me leather underwear. Leather. I got caught in the rain and I had to be rushed to the hospital. <laughs> and I come from a very interesting family. Recently, I sent to a genealogy research uh, company and they looked up my uh, family tree. Now, a lot of these uh, genealogy companies well, you know what they do today? They, they put your name in a computer, and out comes sort of a semi-history of your family, but how do you know if they're telling you the truth? Now, this happened to be a very reputable company. Really, here it is. It says, uh, the Capri family uh, date back to biblical times. Listen to this. It says, I had an ancestor who actually attended the Last Supper. <laughs> but you can't see him in the picture because he wasn't sitting at the head table. <laughs> he was at table four. And he won the centerpiece. <laughs> I also had an uncle important during the Renaissance. Says he worked with Michelangelo. And when Michelangelo was up there uh, painting the ceiling, my uncle was doing the closets and the baseboards. Then I had relatives named after famous people. Paul Revere Capri had a little too much to drink one night and rode to the streets of Miami Beach yelling, the Yiddish are coming. <laughs> Robinson Caruso Capri didn't have a good man Friday, but he did have a good woman on Thursday. <laughs> and last but not least, Christopher Capri, and he was the Italian explorer who was the second man to examine the contours of Florence. Unfortunately, Florence's husband came home early one night and shot my uncle while he was en route to her Northwest Passage. And that's the uh, Capri uh, family. Up till now. Before I leave, I'd like to do a couple of characterizations for you, ladies and gentlemen. Not only do I sound like these people, I look exactly like them. Here is a golfer in a sand trap. He doesn't know it's quicksand. I play the golfer. <laughs> Here is David throwing the stone at Goliath with his mighty sling. I play David. <laughs> Up. A pickpocket in a corner. A guy comes over, asks directions. I play the pickpocket.
Here's, here's one called The Mask Maker. It's about a fellow that makes masks. And it may be a little reminiscent of Marcel Marceau. And I love Marcel Marceau. I, I buy all his albums. <laughs> the Mask Maker.